everyone, welcome back. Oh, I'm excited about this one. They have finally given us a taste of what they've been working on for years now. I honestly don't even know how long. I think they started in 2017 with this project. But uh, yeah, we finally have a nice little demo, uh, the prologue of Project Borealis, ready and playable for everyone. Now this is going to be like a tech demo, it's not going to be everything or whatever for sure, but definitely still excited to dive in and see just what all this really is about, because this is kind of, the story of it is based off of uh, an old writing of what would have been maybe Half-Life 2 Episode 3. It's a, they called it Epistle 3, and it was by Mark Ladlaw or something. I, I think that's his name. Forgive me if I got that wrong. But, yeah, basically, that's what this whole thing is sort of based off of. And in this tech demo, I believe we are going to head back to Ravenholm, but in a different sort of, uh, different, I don't know if it's like timeline or universe or whatever. I don't think so. But... It's a different rendition of it, so there's a bunch of snow everywhere, and yeah, I, uh, I'm very excited about this one. Before we hop in here, though, definitely be sure to leave a like on the video and leave a comment as well. Definitely want to push this one out there in the YouTube algorithm, and also be sure to leave, or sorry, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that as well. Now, let's hop in to Project Borealis, the prologue. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Whoa. I'm in stasis, but with snow. <laughs> what is going on here? That was a cool transition. Nice. Dang, this looks cool. So this is in Unreal Engine 5 as well. So there is uh, the Lumen, Global Illumination, and stuff like that. I actually did turn that off, though. I, I think I went with the, what was it, uh, Distance Field Ambient Occlusion, just to see if I could get better frames. Because I know Lumen right now with a lot of other projects and games and stuff like that it's it doesn't have the best performance um, and just stuff like that and I also turned down a few of the other settings like the anisotropic filtering I turned that down a little bit stuff like that but uh, yeah I'm assuming this is the shield pickups here I can't see it though and I don't have a flashlight yet oh there we go Oh, am I stuck? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Was that sitting there? I don't know. I just didn't see it. Okay, well. Nice. Now I can pick it up. And do I? Yeah, okay. I have a flashlight now. Sweet. Props look really nice. Oh. That's weird. <laughs> like I said, this is, this is just a tech demo, so obviously nothing. Oh! Okay, wait. I understand. Is it like a distance thing? Oh, wait. No. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm sure they'll <laughs> fix it. Oh, there we go. Well, now we got guns. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Sound design is really good. I like that. Dang. Very cool. Nice. Very interesting to have snow mixed in with this. But I don't know, I like it. It's interesting. Throws a throws a new twist on Ravenholm. 
Also, let's check out the, the, the snow deformation and physics. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Nice. That's cool. It's a tiny bit wonky, but the tessellation is definitely there. That is cool. Nice. That's fun. We love that. We love snow deformation in games. Okay, nothing over there. Okay, yeah, frame rate is pretty solid. I actually do want to test it real quick. I want to see what it looks like with Lumen. Just, just to see. Okay, so I turned it on to Lumen High. And it's actually, performance is pretty good. It actually does look a little bit better. There's a little more lighting that's hitting the other, the actual spots where there's no direct light. So there's a lot more light bouncing filling in. Same thing with the flashlight. Like if it hits the box, some of it will kind of bounce off over here. Not a whole lot, but it'll reflect off and fill in other areas. Also, I guess I can check this room out again. Very cool. Oh, this one's alive. Nice. I love the designs of the zombies. Very, very cool how they've made them so they've actually adapted to this sort of climate. Oh. Oh, I was kind of hoping that was explosive. Wait, these ones are. Oh, nice. Oh. Damn. I must have just kept missing his head. I don't know. Oh. That one died to a tire. <laughs> that, that one wasn't uh, the brightest. Wait, is this a... Oh, no. Okay. I thought this was a new room for a second. It's not. Whoa. What is going on here? It's like... Different universe. Oh, but Zen? I just thought about that. So I, uh, I haven't read what this story is based off of, Epistle 3. I haven't read that, or at least not in a very long time. So I don't remember a lot of the stuff in it. I don't know if Zen is actually a big thing in it or not. But uh, either way, even if these guys throw a little bit of a twist on the story, still very cool and interesting. And that would actually be awesome if... Zen plays a big part, which honestly, I now that I think about it too, it might, because they have, I've seen a lot of concept art that they've done for creatures and stuff like that, and they have a bunch of the aliens from Zen with the same adaptations as the zombies out here. So, very interesting. I'm excited to see where they go with that sort of thing. Just fuck with shit. Now again, the physics are very different because this is not source. This is Unreal, so I like the sound. As the sound design is accurate. Oh wait, can I? Oh, I can stick it in the wall. Nice. Cool. Was that my breathing? I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention uh, reflections. I did change to screen space because I just, for Lumen, and now I don't know what version of Unreal 5 they used. I don't know if it's like 5.1 or 2 or, oh. Oh, I almost got all three of them. I don't know what it is, but uh, 
at least in the earlier versions of 5, the lumen reflections, at least on somewhat shinier, not like chrome, but in the, somewhat in the middle, those types of surfaces, the lumen reflections look not that great. Like, it's very noisy and eh. So the screen space reflections look a little better. That is a weird soundtrack for Ravenholm. I don't know, like I said, it's it's so different that it's actually kind of interesting. Again, it's, it's as if Zen or a whole different world is mixing in with Ravenholm, and that's kind of what this soundtrack is. It's almost like ethereal sounding. Again, it's it's good, but it's just it's kind of weird. But again, I like it. It's it's interesting. Very interesting. What is going on here? Borealis. Whoa. Can I go through this? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's a cool effect. It's like rippling. Yeah, this is uh, definitely leading towards some kind of zen shenanigans. Oh, did I hear a... I thought I heard a head crab. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, wait, hold on. Poof! Oh, jeez. Oh, yep. <laughs> it definitely got you guys. Very cool. Alright, now I gotta be careful. Oh! Never mind, it just broke off itself. And stuck into the wall here. That's cool. Interesting. Wait, can I still... Oh, I can still turn it off. Deformation. Nice. That's kind of cool that the decal... Oh, I didn't even realize the shotgun was sitting there. That is kind of cool that the decal goes with it, too. The blood decals. It does kind of break a little bit right there, but it's fine. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it definitely works for what it's intended to do. Nice. And now we got... Now we have the classic shotgun... Looks very cool. Whoa! Oh, yes! Turn on the trap! There it goes! Nice! Oh! You're still alive! <laughs> there we go. Not anymore. What is going on here? That looks that looks really cool. I mean, I know it's it's just a texture, but I imagine maybe sometime some other objects might be added in here or whatever, I don't know. Or it could just stay like this, I don't know. And we'll actually explore this world or Zen later on in the game when it finally comes out. Oops. Wrong button. Very cool. Okay, the next one I do want to try and see if I can cut in half with this. Oh! Owie! Sound design on the creatures is actually really good too. I like it. Oh, hi! You guys blend in with the snow a lot more than <laughs> uh, the regular ones blend in with just the normal environment. Whoa! Okay, what? I got distracted by the head crab. Okay. What is going on here? I love just the complete stark difference. But this is definitely some... 
weird mixture because there's also a strange like vignette that pops up around me. So I'm like in I I just went into like a diff, that different universe or whatever. Oh wait, what if this was like Ravenholm before all the shit happened? Maybe that's what this could be about, is it'll be like a flashback or something. Or maybe even at the beginning of the game, the, it might take place in a time where Ravenholm was actually peaceful and actually just full, filled with regular townsfolk and not an infested zombie land. That might be interesting to see. Cool. Oh. Oh, I got locked in. Okay. Wait, are, is there a saw blade in here? Oh, okay, nope. Have a <laughs> have a jug instead. Big couch. <laughs> That's alright. I'm sure the saw blades do cut them in half, like in the original. So, oh, there was one right here. Yeah. I'm sure it does, because they have the mechanic to do it, so I'm sure it does. Very interesting. Okay, the, my frames definitely did drop in this room a little bit. It's probably because of the foliage, but honestly, I don't know why. Again, tech demo. I'm sure they'll optimize it better in the future or whatever. Assuming I can... Yep, okay. We continue. Oh, and now we're back into the ice cold... Whoa! What in the hell? It's here! Weird! Nice. I can fire both barrels. Okay. Cool. That is so strange. Again, I, I don't know if it'll be like this in the final release. I think some of this stuff, he's just kind of thrown in here, because it's just a demo. So, might have might have thrown it in here just so we can see it. But if this is actually what it's going to be, very interesting. Oh, that's why you didn't die. Okay. Reload. There we go. One of these guys still alive? I I heard him. Or was that you? Maybe that was you. I don't know. Being weird. Nice. Okay, I was seeing if I could break the glass. Cool. Oh, wrong way. There's definitely still a head crab that's alive somewhere. I, I hear him. Or maybe maybe it's just a bug. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. Huh. Or wait. So that building is still there. It's kind of like fading in with it or like mixing in so yeah i wonder maybe that's not even a real thing maybe that's not even real it's not actually there it again it's some weird experiment and trippy oh wait yeah maybe that's the case because this ice over here looks a little weird like it looks holographic i mean unless it's just the graphics messing up i i honestly it could be that too i don't know but the ice looks way more holographic looking. And I feel like that's actually intentional. So yeah, maybe this whole thing is just not even here. <laughs> Zen or whatever is playing a trick. Still looks very cool though. Can't mess with that. Oh, I didn't like that sound. That was... Good sound design there. Interesting.
Can't go over here. Also, earlier I was talking about something else, so I didn't even mention it, but uh, there was a secret little lambda stash back there. Oh! <laughs> okay, physics broke a little bit, and that killed him. Instead of me. Again, this is, uh... Um, this is Unreal, not Source, so... Physics are definitely different. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Can't do anything with this. Huh. I feel like I'm supposed to go up there, or something is supposed to come out of it. Imagine, like, Father Grigori just walks out of the Borealis. That'd be kind of crazy. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, there he is. Yep, that was it. Okay, got it. Okay, so nobody comes out of it. We're just supposed to go up there. Gordon? Whoa, okay, they're weird. Honestly, I was expecting to hear G-Man instead of Alex, but... Huh. Alright, well yeah, that was definitely a lot. <laughs> dumped on us within a small little prologue there. Like I said, I, I feel like when we actually do play the real level that is Ravenholm, I feel like it's not gonna have all of that mixed in, or if it does, it'll be done a little bit differently, but I don't know, it might be the same, I don't know. Who's to say? That was very cool, though. I definitely, I really enjoyed that. And for a tech demo, I mean, there there were a couple things that obviously were a little eh, like buggy and eh, but it's a tech demo. Like it's it's gonna happen. But yeah, so far sound design was really interesting. I I love the new sounds with the zombies. They sound good. The weapons sound nice. The feel of it is, again, it's different. It, it's a whole different engine, so obviously the feel is going to be a bit weird and might take a little bit to get used to, but overall, they are doing a great job with it. Again, uh, the actual set design with... Ravenholm and like everything that's mixed in with it, so like the Zen parts and the snow and stuff like that. Very interesting and go and return. Yes, sir. But yeah, the uh, environmental design with this is awesome. And again, like the concept art that I've seen with this game is insane it's so good it looks really cool and I, I really do hope that they can pull through and make all of those come to life within this world very interesting and the imagery overall too is very cool I just I love this wallpaper right here just the crowbar left in the in the frozen snow I would say it, it looks like just a whole sheet of ice but it could just be snow too I don't know this might be actually where the ship is this might even be like a moment in the game too like the Borealis ship could be like off to the side like right there I don't know who knows but yeah very very interesting and I'm, I'm very excited to see where they actually go with this and everything that actually comes up with it. They, it I know it's definitely going to take a long time the the team lost quite a bit of members and they slowed way down for a while within the last couple of years but they still held it together and kept on trucking and uh, yeah I hope I hope that they keep doing that I wish the team all the best 
with their ongoing development, and I can't wait to see what they come up with. But yeah, that is going to do it for the prologue demo of Project Borealis. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys back in Most Wanted.